Now let's take a look at the API that works with the column chooser dialog. Create a new action button in the ribbon control. Set its text to show column chooser and write a click handler for it. As you can see, the dialog object is available via the customization form property. So we'll check to see if it's already been initialized and depending on the result, show or hide the column chooser using the show customization or destroy customization methods. To make sure that the button displays the correct label depending on the column chooser visibility, go to grid view settings and first find the show customization event. It fires when the form becomes visible. So the handler should set the label to hide column chooser. Similarly, in the hide customization form event, set the text back to show column chooser. Let's run the application and first try the button to see that it invokes the dialog and the button label changes with it. You can also invoke the column chooser via the menu and still see how the text changes.